Wow! 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 Where do I begin with this Philadelphia Flyers team that just took on the Boston Bruins at the Wells Fargo Center this afternoon on Easter Sunday? Before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment if you'd like to because I enjoy speaking with you guys. And what is new when it comes to this Flyers team? Another emotional roller coaster game. This was so close to being tragic. Tragic. But the Flyers end up taking this one in overtime thanks to the captain, Claude Giroux, on a beautiful goal. But, but let's just break down what happened here. To start off, Mrazek gets the nod and he makes a fantastic save on Pasternak. He was literally on his stomach. He reached across the crease and snagged it with his glove. He does have a great glove. And from that save, in the defensive zone, the Flyers win the faceoff. Ivan Provorov goes and is in the middle. He drives the net. As he does that, he dishes a pass off to Konechny to his right, who hits Claude Giroux. One touches it. It's on the ice, but it beats the goaltender trying to go post to post. one nothing, and that is right after the big save by Mrazic. So talk about a huge shift there. That sets a career-high points for Claude Giroux at 94. And talk about somebody who had so much... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, criticism last season for how bad he did and, and people wanted his to just rip the C, get rid of... The dude just set his career high in points. Let's go. So at the end of the first period, the Flyers are with a 1-0 lead. And 25 seconds into the second, Travis Konechny. It was beautiful. He does what he always does. How many times do I have to mention his cut through? But this time, he cuts through. He flicks the puck up over two defenders. Toeys. Oh, defender. And scores. And not only was it a defender, it was Bergeron. One of the best two-way players the NHL has ever seen. And he does a little toey. Scores. Five hole to give the Flyers a 2 nothing lead. Konechny also has a breakaway opportunity thanks to Claude Giroux has a beautiful one-touch pass, but it stopped. But they also drew a penalty from that play, which they did not score on. Also, they also had a 2 on 0 opportunity, Konechny and Claude Giroux. Konechny kind of gave it a little bit too far ahead of Giroux, and the Boston Bruins defender came back, slided, made a great play to come back. And, and I'll just be honest, Konechny was buzzing all over the place. Claude Giroux was buzzing all over the place. And I thought the energy was there for this Philadelphia Flyers squad, especially early in the first period, a little bit in the second period. I think we had just a little bit more legs than they did. Achari ends up scoring 14 minutes into the second period to cut the lead in half. There was a turnover by Gudis, and he tried to send it to the far blue. Bruins pick it off. They try and shoot. Off that rush, he does block it, but they get the puck. They they move it to Bacchus, who moves it out front, and they score 2-1. to one. The Flyers still lead as the Bruins cut the lead in half. Then Marchand with a scumbag move. What's new? He gets hit by McDonald, and he gives him a cross check to the face. What This kid is ridiculous. I don't understand. I mean, how many times are you going to get suspended? I hope he the NHL looks at this one again because that's pathetic. It's terrible for the game. It, it seriously is pathetic. So we go into the third period. Five minutes in, Nolan Patrick makes a nice move on the goaltender. Let's go. A nice Backhand, forehand move, but it all starts with Lindblom, who's sitting, enters the zone, sits at the blue, and just sauces a little marinara, a little Alfredo, right on Nolan Patrick's stick, who makes a beautiful move, 3-1, to one, but the Boston Bruins respond on the power play, Pasternak gets his chance after he got robbed in the first, it was a little fluky goal, and, you know, the Flyers take a bad penalty right after we score. And the Bruins, they, they cash in on it. And the score is 3-2. to two. Then, and this kills me. This absolutely kills me. Because I know it's killing him. Wayne Simmons, with four seconds left in this game, with a 3-2 to two lead, is skating out of the defensive zone with the puck on his stick. And he turns it over. And the Boston Bruins... Paris Bergeron 
Scores his 30th of the season, assisted by Bacchus. And this is when my heart just literally went into my stomach. Are you kidding me? This is our assistant captain. Wayne Simmons is, is a player, a veteran player in this league who should know that no matter what, just get the damn puck out of the zone. And I love Wayne Simmons. And I saw him on the bench. And you could tell he was really upset with himself. He was extremely upset with himself. And if we could have still got the two points, which we end up finding out we did, um, you know, it doesn't hurt as bad. So, you know, it's a learning experience for him. He's going to realize, he's going to remember that play for a long time, especially during this back end of the stretch. So, you know, he's not going to do it again. He got away with one. Because in overtime, Claude Giroux on a breakaway does his thing. His 29th of the season, assisted by Voracek, comes in on his backhand. It goes a little bar down, and it was beautiful. You hear the ding. The Flyers fans were going nuts. It was just an awesome way to finish that off. So he ends up with 95 points career high on the season after this game, and he stepped up big time to to pick up Wayne Simmons after a terrible turnover, and it was just awesome to see. It was close to being a, a brutal, brutal ending for this Flyer squad this afternoon. So, hey, we did it. It was a very fun, exciting game. Passion involved, hard-hitting, great skill. Both teams worked very, very hard. It was a fantastic afternoon game on NBC, no doubt about it. I actually forgot to mention, there was a time where the Flyers had six guys on the ice and nobody noticed for a good 5-10 seconds. I mean, we played the puck and everything. You could see Marchand on the bench banging his stick, being a little you-know-what about it. Shut up. Just shut up. You're a scumbag. You're an absolute scumbag. Screw you. So with that being said, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, comment if you like to because I enjoy speaking with you guys because the Flyers got a crucial, crucial two points during this stretch. Uh, this stretch is so tight it hurt between the New Jersey Devils, us, and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.